There is new video evidence that we are seeing this morning coming into play in a lawsuit a security guard launched last year against Raptors president Masai Ujiri. You remember that shoving match at last year's NBA match. Well, Michael Serapio is looking at all of this for us, the new video mm -hmm. and its new meaning maybe and impact in this case. Yeah, absolutely, because we're talking about a case in the tens of thousands of dollars U.S. here. I, as you say, Heather, the security guard really adapted deputy sheriff that was hired to do security at the Oracle Center in Oakland, California. Game six, as you know, of course, the Raptors being in Golden State, huge moment for the franchise. So you, you saw uh, Masai Ujiri want to make his way to the court, but was stopped. And take a look at what this new video shows up, because if you take a look to the left of the screen, that is the sheriff that was circled in red there. Coming on the right side, again now circled, is uh, Ujiri himself making his way. And as the two approach each other, it is not Ujiri who shoves the deputy from First, but you see right there, the deputy shoves Ujiri not once, but twice before Ujiri responds with a shove back of his own. In fact, if you take a close look, uh, uh, close look rather, of what happened, Ujiri was trying to get his credentials from his suit jacket to prove he had a right to be on the court to celebrate with his team. But even before he could do that, well, the sh uh, deputy sheriff was already grabbing his jacket lapel, pushing him back. Take a close up look and take a listen as well. Now, I don't know if it was very clear, but Ujiri was stating he was the president of, of the Toronto Raptors there. He looked incredulous that this was happening. Again, pushed not just once, but twice. And this does seemingly back up the claim that Masai Ujiri is making in a document to the California courts, because in it, he says it was the sheriff's deputy, Alan Strickland, who started the incident, after which bystanders intervened, got Ujiri on the court with his team. Now, we should note, again, Strickland and his wife are suing the Raptors president for 75 thousand dollars U.S. They're suing for general and punitive damages. Uh, but now this video first shared by the local Fox station in the Bay Area. So certainly people in the Oakland and San Francisco area know now this vantage point because of this body camera. And now this video also confirmed by CBC News, Heather. What about the Raptors now, Michael? Are they uh, reacting to the new video at all? Uh, well, they are standing firm. Take a look at the statement from the franchise themselves. This is what they have to say. We have always maintained that the claims made against Maasai are baseless and entirely without merit. We believe this video evidence shows exactly that Maasai was not an aggressor, but instead was the recipient of two very violent, unwarranted actions. So all this going on as the proceedings continue in this civil suit. Uh, between the deputy sheriff and the president of uh, the Raptors, but of course going to play a big part in the case now, and we'll keep following it, Heather. Okay, Michael, thank you very You're much. You're welcome.